Hello and welcome back to Hello Debbie and this is episode 69 of my Diary Week 21.18 Let's Play. <laughs> Get that beautiful sunset going on. Oh, okay, so I have been working to try and get everything recovered from the the rollback, but I, I think I got everything. The power just shines up there. That's amazing looking. Uh, but <laughs> so some things might be a bit different uh, than they were before, but I tried to do my best. Uh, so I got a little bit of stuff done. I also, like the last thing I did, I'm not sure if it's done correctly, uh, but <laughs> so I might need to go back through and recheck to see if I set up all of the, uh, this, the source relay workers to make sure they're, uh, they're actually working. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> my cat. My cat, she's like wanting attention right now, so uh, I don't know what to do. Um, so, uh oh, we're getting company now. Okay, sorry, Keith. Sorry, Shiba. You could come on up. Come on. Come on. Help. Hey, okay. Sorry. 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 Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, we got moments. I might need to sleep. I just wanted to get the nice sunset. Hey, come here, him. I wanted to get the nice sunset. It's a good view. I have the melon source jar. Um. Oh my goodness. I need to go see. Or they kill my golem. All right, good times. Whoa! Oh, go, go out. Gotta heal. You should regen. There it goes. Everything okay in here? Okay, I think everything's okay. He's getting better. Um. So yeah, I don't know what what project I want to start next. I have uh have all the stuff and things going pretty good. Oh what are you doing? It's my block. This is my island. Whoa! Ah I forget sometimes that uh, Enderman fork when you shoot at them. What? A nasty skeleton. Whoa. How do you get damaged? Oh, ow. <laughs> Sky battle. Got him. Um, all right, Enderman. Yes. Oh, there he is. Whoa. He's almost dead. He's scared. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm kind of kerfuffled about what to do next. Oh, I know what I was working on before the incident. Uh, we were going to do a wither builder, I believe. Uh, but we have to alter our original mob farm to use uh, the industrial foregoing mob grinder uh, because we gotta get pink slime going. Gotta get the pink slime. That's right. Uh, what did I do with those? Did I actually? I don't think I made anything yet. And I lost all of my JEI <laughs> uh, things over here. Um, yeah, I had to do some stuff. I had to redo, like, all of the quality of life upgrades for my mob system, like a bunch of the up copper upgrades uh, for all the different drawers so they could hold more. Uh, I had overclocker upgrades for um, the, the node extracting from uh, the chest that all the main loot goes into so that it could handle the increase in drops because I put uh, my upgrades for the mob grinder in there. I have like 10 sharpness and 10 luck. So yeah, I got started getting a lot more items in my my little node just couldn't handle it anymore. So I had to give him upgrades and I had to redo that. So that's why that's there. And I had to make a waystone to uh, put at the stronghold. So I need that recipe. So yeah, I think I need to do... I, I want to check and make sure my Warpers are working, but I can do that because I technically already did it. <laughs> so um, what we need is the, let's pull up the industrial. And this has a book, industrial foregoing, it has a book. Put F-O after industrial. Uh, you can see you get the industrial foregoings manual and I actually got that uh, here. And that lists, you know, everything you need to know about this. I've never actually read a book about this. It's, you know, basically I, I know everything I know about industrial foregoing. I learned through doing agrarian skies and uh, crash landing they had I mean just like one of my favorite mods I already like know everything but uh, there is to know about the basic mod but they have added and changed things so um, that's pretty cool like here's all the basics with how to get your plastic and it tells you about the dissolution chamber Latex processing unit, fluid extractors, add-ons. Uh, so, oh yeah. So we made the dissolution chamber. That's right. It should be down here, but we haven't really done anything with it. Let's see. Oh look, and you can sneak to view. I guess you press it. Maybe. That's pretty cool, but uh, we're going to need this to make the better machine frames. Uh -oh. So we can make other stuff. But right now, what I want to do is to get some peak slime incoming. So we're going to need. The I think it's Mob Slaughter Factory. Yeah. 
mob slaughter factory. There's also a mob crusher. I don't I think this might be something added. No, because I think there's there's two ways you can kill them. One you can get uh, like the normal loot, and then one you can get the pink slime. You have to use the slaughter factory to get the slime. I don't know. Let's look. What is the mob pressure? Um, miscellaneous. Um, I think the mob systems would probably do this. Okay, the mob crusher. Machine used to kill mobs as if a player would, producing drops in essence. Drops are directly created from the mob loot pool. This machine uh, has an alternate mode where instead of generating essence, it will generate drops with random levels of fortune. School, um, I guess. So, what's the difference between that and, the, and I think the crusher? You do not get the pink slime uh, into liquid wheat and pink slime. The mobs killed by this machine will not produce drops or experience. No drops at all. Oh, and it says passive mobs create more than non-passive ones. Mm. Well, you know, I could just make it a separate one and do like a passive mob farm because uh, you can get the different dirt from mob grinding utilities uh, that will spawn passive mobs, just like the blessed earth that I used in uh, Ocean Block. So that would be kind of cool if we could just get a passive mob set up to produce a slime. So let's add our mob slaughter factory. Um, I don't know. It doesn't say like what kind of area though. Uh, but it should show it. It has a little button where it should show. It. Um. All right, so we need that egg. Oh, I guess it's a golden egg. Golden egg? Like this? Yeah, a delightful dirt. Uh, a five by five area. So, what is the rest of? We get that using the nutritious chicken feed, which is four experience buckets and the stuff so i guess it's good that i just made some buckets gonna need a couple more though oh it got dark again finally got over a stack of Plastic in there. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Dude, I tried sitting on this thing. Look how slow it drains all those levels. I want to get them out before I die again. <laughs> but it's so slow look at it uh, so i wonder if i had a second one if they would both drain at the same time oh 
I don't know what I can do that either, I guess. Um, okay, what was it? I guess seed in the middle, wheat, carrot, potato, beetroot. Ooh, do I have a beetroot? I can't be 100% certain of that. I think I have planted with beetroot. Um, I don't think I have any seeds over there. Um, do, 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 do. I know it'll take any more money. Nutritious chicken feed. And, um, Gotta increase the chicken population <laughs> in case I need to come back here again for, hey. Do, 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 do. Oh, I meant to do this. Um, did you, 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 there's our golden egg. All right, so what else are we going to need? Uh some dirt to put that on reckon but we got dirt on us dude some dirt um maybe some of that tinted glass Oh, it's mine? Oh, oh, oh. What did I do with the glass? Oh, I got a couple of ethereal glass. That's cool. I thought I made... Ah, there's my tint. Uh -oh. I know I was going to use that for the Wither Builder, but I need it now. I've got to have this before the Wither Builder. Um, we might need like a couple of moves or something. And I have my cards. I wish you could put the filters in there too. I like to, you know, have cards and filters in that one little doodad, carry them around with me wherever I go. Um, yeah, I need to take some basic filters just in case. <laughs> make this it's build a pity machine frame which will not be a problem uh four iron four logs and nine redstone <laughs> This guy go in in machine frame. 
a couple swords, a couple axes. There we go. And then a couple of plastic. That's oh, your four gold machines take. And a gold gear and a redstone gun. Yeah. Mob Slaughter Factory, yes. And these are a lot easier to set up than like having different components because they have an area of effect where they will, you know, damage the mobs instead of having to move the mobs to the grinder the grinder is just everywhere. Uh, so you only need one block instead of four. Which is really nice. Um, so I guess it would be... Good to have this around here somewhere since... Thing. I think uh, since we're using the chicken bee, maybe we should just put it close by. Now, how are you set up? Got a one by one, I want a three by three precision mode. <laughs> Okay, so how about I kind of clear this area out and I will get back with you. Okay, so I got a little area dug out over here and I placed our mob slaughter factory. And I got the dirt ready, so I just got to get uh, like some more of these. Um, do that around. I also didn't bring a battery, but I think I have some on the ground. Up at the base. Um, now I don't know that I'll actually need to go in here for anything. I'll be able to come back in here. And definitely need to get a range upgrade. Man, you can see the working area is only a one by one. Area. Uh, so we need to get to a tier two upgrade so it moves out one on each side. It should give it a five by five radius. Might even go for a three so that it can get to these edges over here. I don't know why I needed that, but I just wanted it to kind of match the other one. <laughs> so in case we need to go in for something, I will put our little tinted material glass there. Okay, so let's go get a battery. Oh, I think we're going to need a chest too, but I should... Okay. Oops. It's dark. Run and hide. Okay, so we need to get the battery and an upgrade for our slaughter factory. Battery, we, yeah. How much? 
much. This one has 24 million. That's one of my good ones. These are only the 1 million, so they don't have any upgrades at all. So I guess let's take this 24 million guy. What is that? Oh, is that the one that was supposed to be sitting over here? No. But here's the other one. And then I have one downstairs. So it's the three I should have. I somehow wound up with a rec extra 24 million, I guess. Um, I don't know. Maybe I made another one. <laughs> Um, we might not need the nodes and such. We didn't use as much glass as I thought. That's good. Let's do some. Got tier one and tier two. Tier three. What's that take? Thousand millibuckets of latex. Four bone meal, two glass cakes. Did have did wait. Um, chewing, chewing, chewing. There we go. It's slowly going. Definitely want to get some upgrades for this guy. So we got our range upgrade. That should kill everything. We got our battery. It should power the stuff. We got a chest to put the stuff. Oh, we're going to need a tank. That's right. Uh, for the pink slime, we're going to need two tanks. Pink slime. One for the liquid meat. I don't remember which one of those it takes. Singularity tank. There we go. And then we should be able to do the jumbo tanks. There we go. Problem solved. Put these guys back. All right, I think we should have everything. It should be all we need. I'm trying to think. Um, I think I can just set the chest. Think would it would it be easier to like, go underneath with the stone blocks? Well, so do that. Out through the top. You get power now. You got power. Oh, he doesn't have an in external inventory, but uh, or an internal inventory, but. How am I going to get both liquids out? So, I guess, because this is kind of different to me, they always used to drop items. But uh, I guess they changed that, so I need a pipe and a wrench. 
we can do this. Um, I guess first I want to make sure that one uh, goes into one side and then the other so that they don't wind up being two of the same kind. So let's tell the liquid meat, go ahead and just go out. Tell the pink slime to be disabled. So it will stay in the system as it goes off. Okay, so I should be able to come in here, do my little golden egg. Oh, the add on. I can't really see anything in here, so I may need to get some page lights. There, that's a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so can't really see where it's at. So that covers this whole area. So working area. And then let's do the thing. What run? It's all a bunch of drink me's. What? Um, I guess they count. Okay, there's the... Okay, so let's go back into the meat and disable it. Connect. Connect you. And then you got a teensy-weensy bit. Pink slime. Okay, that's good. So now we can turn all those back on. So now we'll have our. I wonder if there's a way to avoid that. Uh -oh. I guess so. We could put put a tank up. Uh, a liquid trash can, I guess, somewhere, and avoid any extra liquid meat once we get to that point. Now, there we go. It's all drink meats, but I guess that doesn't matter because we're getting the stuff. That's sad. That's so sad. It's all drink meats. <laughs> oh, it just breaks the heart. Oh, uh, yeah, because we're going to need some of this. Hopefully, that doesn't drain too fast. It doesn't appear to be spawning very quickly. So I don't know, I don't know why it decided to, what is going on? What is all the stuff? But you can't see that from inside. Oh, I guess that's the particles from the, the delightful dirt. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so I guess we'll let this run for a while. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.